What's up everybody? So I went out and I bought a KTM Freeride uh, EXC. It's a 2022. Uh, <laughs> it's really fun um it's about half the power um of my zero converted it to supermoto uh we'll look at that a little later i can't believe how light it is it's only i think like 240 pounds um compared to the zero fx which with the supermotos hello girls um with the supermotos is uh around 300 now pounds so that bike's very heavy um this bike is also water cooled so one modification i've done already um, so they did this already when they uh, built the bike is they put the hand guards on so that comes with the bike when you buy it It's an option to either add it or not add it. They ended up adding it for me But uh, what I ended up adding is a front tire. So it comes with a Maxxis uh, 18 by 4 in the rear and then a 21 by 2.75 in the front, but I wanted a knobby So this is a Michelin uh, What is it? This is a Michelin Enduro, and this is a 21 by, uh, this is a 90-121. Um, so I just wanted Nobby because it has, you know, more side traction. But uh, yeah, this is the bike. Um, let's go over it real quick, everything about it. So it's actually very simple to um, get to the battery. There's a uh, clip right here. So you just pull back the clip and it opens. So it does have a small battery. Um, this is to run like the headlight, the tail light, and it kind of like jump starts uh, the computer and then, then it goes off of this. So you can see right here, hopefully I'm sideways, but so there's, there's three uh, switches. So there's uh, one, two, and three. So economy, standard, and then advanced or, you know, just high power. And uh, then it shows battery percentage with these bars on the on the left and right. So the first bar is 100 to 70, second one is 70 to 50, the one below that is 50 to 30, and then when it's yellow, it's 30 to 20 percent, and then when it's red, it's 20 to 10, and then when it's flashing, it's at 10 percent. So there's actually a good amount of um, info that it will give you to tell you where it's at. It doesn't have to show you the percentage. Um, so this is the battery. Uh, it weighs 65 pounds. Uh, there's a mount right here one two three four you pull those bolts out and then it just pulls right out and so we're gonna do that here in a second because I'm gonna charge it we're gonna ride tomorrow and so it has a key so you're gonna what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn it on once you click this to the running now it'll you got to wait for it once it does that then you got to hold this real quick it makes that sound and then you're ready to go so uh really cool i've tried it on one two and three one is <laughs> it's not very good one, one is like no power what at all um two is a decent amount of power and three is just ridiculous so um, yeah, I mean, that's the bike. Uh, we, I'll go in more detail about it on, on another video. I just wanted to kind of to get the, the fact that I, I finally got it. So I've been waiting two and a half months for this. Um, I put my pre-order in over here. So uh, it was actually available yesterday, but we, I wanted to do the ride with my friends because that was the ride uh, last ride with the Chiron. So selling that. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. So. Um, Let's turn this off and I'm gonna go over with you what the bike comes with. Okay, so you can see this is, it's dirty because we rode Kayana Point. So this won't really be going in the dirt that often anymore. But this is the Zero FX that I converted to Supermotos. Thing's awesome. Um, so yeah, so look at this crazy charger that it comes with. It's like a, it's like a mini generator it looks like almost. It's huge, it weighs at least 15, 20 pounds. Um, we'll go into that in a second. So there's the comes with the owner's manual a Cool toolkit. So it comes with all the tools that you would need to like take off the rear rim front rim things like that um, It also comes with the hand guards that were in that are already on the bike and then it comes with the reflectors and Then some other pieces if you were to take off those mounts you would have to put these on to I guess complete it so um, it comes with three cables So it comes with the output 
So this is going to go to the battery. And then there's the input. So this goes into this. So I did a little bit of research before I bought this. And if you don't realize this, you're going to be kind of screwed. So um, this is the plug that it comes with. It's a, L, it's a NEMA L620. Okay, so nobody's house, none that I know of, has this plug. This is not a dryer plug. This is, this is like an industrial plug for 220. So I had to buy this off Amazon, and I'll, I'll link the description um, on the bottom. So this is that connection, so the NEMA L620. So it goes into this, and then this is a newer dryer plug. And I'll write it, because I don't remember what it's called. Um, but this is going to go into the newer style dryer plug. So basically, this is going to go like this. So now there's a fourth wire. And then you're going to plug this into the wall, and then this into the bike. There's storage charging, which is all the way on the bottom. So that's if you're going to be storing the battery. And then, uh, so obviously you want to make sure it's off. So put it in the off position. And then you're going to go to what you want. So normal charging and then fast charging. So we're just going to do normal charging for the first charge. Make sure it's off. You're going to plug this into the battery. You're going to plug this into the wall. And then turn it to AC on. So let's go ahead and get the battery out. I'm gonna run this to my back room. I'm not able to take the bike back there, but I can take the battery. So kind of a pain, but I'll get used to it. So let's go ahead and get this back there. I'll, I'll show you how to take the battery out and then we'll go ahead and charge it for the first time. So to get the battery out, uh, it's gonna be a 10 millimeter. Um, you're gonna need an extension. This is a little overkill, but this is the shortest one I have. So again, you're just gonna flip this little switch right here. It's gonna pop open. And we're going to pull these four bolts out. So there's these little, um, it's almost like a really long nut. And so it goes in there and it's going to sit on top of that. So. Nice. Drop it on the ground. These look like they might be kind of a pain to get out because they're so in. Might have to just leave them in there and then pull them out when I pull the battery out. So put that down for now. Okay, so there's no special, in I mean, not that I know of, there's no special instructions to pull the battery. You just, you just, there's nothing to unhook, you just pull it out. So, okay, it's not very light. Whew. 65 pounds. Okay, so now that we got those out, I can pull these out. Ah, you know what? I'm just gonna leave them in there. That doesn't hurt anything. So this is what it looks like under. Interesting, there's a little bit of oxidation. But yeah, it just clips right into this part right here. And it slides in the, uh, these long bolts. So, sweet. All right, so that's that. All right. Oh, let's take this big battery back there. Okay. It's not that bad. I mean, it's heavy. It's not that bad. So, last time you're probably going to see this bike. I'm going to wash it today, and the guy picks it up tomorrow. So, bye-bye, Sharon. Anyways. Okay, back to this. Oh. Okay, so. We're going to twist this off. That's just plastic. Okay. There's probably, yeah, so there's a dot here and there's a dot here. So, yep, it just goes like that. Nothing screws onto that. That just goes in there. And then let's make sure. So we're going to be normal charging, AC off. And then, so like I was saying, so this is going to be the normal plug. That's for the newer style dryers. So that looks like this. So we'll plug that in. So without this adapter, I could never have charged my battery. Okay. Now we're gonna go to on. It's right there. So charger status. 
and then it should show us how charged the battery is. All right, so it's somewhere around 80%. Sweet. This is the first time I've actually checked to see if that outlet even works. So right on. So we're gonna leave this and uh, let it charge. Um, the last 20% should, I, I think should only be about 20 minutes. So let that charge up. Um, and then tomorrow we'll go on a full ride on it. So, all right. So I'm gonna go through the user manual and uh, see if there's anything that I missed. Something maybe I can learn about the bike. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move it. I, I think it's gonna be very light. Without that battery in there, just run it without a battery. Just downhill it. <laughs> okay. And I'll, I'll film, well, I don't know. I mean, I don't, honestly, I don't think there's gonna be any issues putting it back in. It slips right in through those things, so. Oh yeah, wow. It is light. <laughs> It feels, yeah, it's got to be, it's like 180 pounds right now. So, awesome. Thanks for uh, watching the video, guys. I uh, can't wait to make some content with this tomorrow. Oh, it's going to be so much fun to have a real dirt bike. All right, and there you go. That's the Zero and the FX in the background. So, you can kind of see the difference. This is a lot smaller. So, all right, Bubbles, what do you got to say about that? <laughs> all right, all right, Shishi. This is Shady and Bubbles. All right, guys, uh, until the next one, I'll see you.